Welcome to HSN. My name is Ty Mayberry. I'm here with my friend and co-host, Mr. Guy Yovan. Hello, hello. And Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, yeah, everybody. Merry Christmas. You know what we're doing here? End of the year, clearance in the kitchen. Yeah. Now is the time. We're making that turn into the new year. We're going to spend some time in the kitchen. Let's let's get those, those great appliances, those things we need now yeah. at a great price. Yeah. Oh, let me mention real quick, if you're shopping clearance, right, and you things in your bag and you're going to get some of these great items and it comes up to $75 or more, guess what? My two favorite words, you get free shipping. Free shipping. Free shipping, $75 or more. <laughs> so check that out. Thanks for being here with us this hour. What's coming up, guys? Well, we got, you know what's great about these shows? And it, it's funny, I think hosts probably shop more on this day than we do. We do. We, we, I just bought two items in the last hour because I'm like, I can't get those prices, right? Uh, Even with my employee discount. So it's a great day to shop and we're going to get you started right off the bat. I'll see you in just a minute, right. my buddy. So come on over. So uh, for those of you that love, uh, maybe you love the barbecue, right? You love ribs, uh, you like to roast things, you like things to be delicious, maybe you love to grill, but it's snowing outside or it's raining outside or it's too dang cold or whatever, you're going to be able to grill, bake, roast, do all those things, even steam indoors all year long with Gotham Steel's uh, aluminum hooded uh, grill. This thing is amazing. What you do is you put it right over your regular burners. So whether you got a gas burner, electric burner, whatever it is, you put it right over the burners and uh, it... Uh, it's got uh, grill grates on the bottom. It will heat up just like a frying pan it would. And then you've got a, gr uh, a, a grill rack inside, but the key is the hood. The domed lid creates convection, which circulates around your food and gives you that even heat distribution and that great cooking. Here's the unit itself. I've got some ribs over here. I wanted to show you those really quickly. It also comes with a little burger maker. You get this little burger, stuffed burger patty maker. Put your meat in there, put your stuffing in there and squash it down. That's a really good deal as well. Comes with, a, uh, with some recipes, but here is the unit here. So you see, this is the, the hooded part. When you open it up, you see that's where you put your food inside, right? And you can actually remove the hood if you want. So if you just want to use it uh, to make burgers and dogs open like that, you could do it. If you want to put salmon or racks of ribs on here, you could put those in. And then again, you just put your lid on, let it go. Keep it on low and you're good to go. The item is 700804. Uh, clearance price, ridiculous. Not 81. $39.95, all right? And remember what we said about clearance, right? $75 or more, all your shipping is free. Let me introduce you to our special guest, and you all know this guy, Ray Lamp, standing by. Ray Lamp, the champ, standing by, doing a little early morning breakfast. Hey, Ray. Hey, guy, how are you? Good, good buddy, you. how you doing? <laughs> you know, I'm all right. I'm in a good place right now. You know, I've cooked down about every grill that's known to man. So I am the expert on this subject, and I'm telling you, this is the best yeah. home grill I've ever seen. It really is that good. So I'm going to throw you a little curveball by starting you out with some breakfast. I bet you didn't see that one coming. No, no, no. I was, where, where's the meat? Ray, where's the meat? <laughs> Don't worry. It's coming. <laughs> I, I will have that. So I'm going to let this cook a little bit. Let me get some couple of eggs cracked on here. We can cook eggs on this thing. Look at this. The eggs, it, it's so nonstick that it, we can cook eggs that got a little bit of a... You can see the bottom of it. Yeah. See how it's got the ridges in the bottom of the oh, egg yeah, and the pancake? It. It's kind of a fun thing. But now I'm going to take you over to the meat. So look over here. This is where the serious business is. Look at that. Wow, Ray. Now, wow. you know, Gotham Steel is going to make great products. This is their hooded grill. There's two things we want as a grill guy, as an expert on this. We want the grill marks. See all of that? That's the brown stuff. That's what makes it taste good. But then we've got to get it cooked right. Sometimes we'll get all the sear marks on a, on a grill, and then we don't get it cooked up. This will be seared up real nice. It's still raw in the middle. Close the hood, and that's how it gets done to perfection. I love so that. let me get these steaks. First thing I want to do is put the cheese on these burgers. See, and Ray, have Everybody a... want cheese on there? Yeah, because... Ha and if you don't have a lid on that, you can't melt cheese. So the lid comes exactly. in handy. Yep. Exactly. Because otherwise, you're, you end up burning your burger, hoping the cheese will melt. You're not right. sure. Watch what's going to happen with this. I'll be right back to that. No problem. So look at these steaks now. See, and you know yeah, what I like too, Ray, uh, is that, you know, you got enough food there to feed enough people, right? You're not in a little, you're not cramped up in a little saute pan. No, this thing's huge. I, that's look my that. favorite thing about it. Wow. Because I like to cook for a lot of people. And when you start thinking about comparing it to the outdoor grill, it's got to have some room. Speaking of that, though, you can take it and put it on the outdoor grill. Mm -hmm. If you want a little bit of that extra smoke flavor, and then bring it inside to finish it up. For breakfast, think about camping. That's what I think about. You go camping, and you can cook with this grill right on the open fire. Yeah. You can taste it and put it right on the fire while you're camping. 
cook that breakfast and then later on cook these steaks for dinner. Oh. All right, let's see my burgers. I bet you they're done. See, and now remember, we just put the cheese on there. Look, 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 look. See there that? you go. That's all it takes. Look at that. So you almost Perfect. get, Ray, you get like a convection action, right, inside there? That's right. That's what I was saying. You want to get the browning, because that's what makes food taste good, but then you need that convection oven to end up cooking it perfectly. And those steaks, you see the steak was done beautifully. And the cheeseburger, that's how you get that cheese melted. I'm not going to cover that up. But look over here for cleaning up. This is my favorite thing about it. This is nothing. Look at that. That's the melted yeah. cheese, sticky... If that's happening on any other pan, it's a serious disaster. Here, I could wipe it right off. It gives you an idea of the square footage you're getting here, too. So if you are doing a couple of big racks of ribs, it's ideal. And remember, <clears throat> as to Ray's point, if you want to take the bottom of the pan and bring it out to your grill, you can take that out. So uh, for, especially if you're doing things like grilling uh, asparagus or veggies that might fall through the grill cracks, you can bring this out and use it on your grill if you've got a regular barbecue grill. Um, not the lid, but the actual pan itself. And you can do the same in the oven. If you wanted to use this as just a, a warming pan or to cook in the oven with it, you can do that as well. Everybody will get the roasting rack that comes with it. You get the lid, you get the bottom. And what happens is, is as that heat starts starts to come up, it hits this dome and it recirculates and it cooks around. And if you've got it on the rack like we do here, then you get that air circulating around your food and that's what keeps it nice and crisp. That's what sears everything in. The nonstick on this is unbelievable, right? And if you've always, uh, if your food sticks to your regular grill, you might want to take this and put this out on top of your regular grill because it's nonstick, it's easy cleanup. And again, with that hooded design, and it's very slightly vented, you'll see there's little dimples on the top that allow for a little bit of the steam to escape which is for even cooking again, keeps that control factor in there. Today it is on clearance. It is not 81, it is 39.95. If you wanna split up the payments, it's only $7.99 on uh, your monthly payment. Get it home. It doesn't take up an enormous amount of room. I mean, literally, it's like a roasting rack with a lid. You know what I mean? But it's a little bit of a smaller size. Um, you could, uh, obviously, if you wanna keep, warm food, uh, keep foods warm, you could put this whole thing in the oven. It's not meant to be cooked in the oven with the lid on uh, because it has this uh, uh, rubberized grip here, but it'll keep your food warm. It'll keep everything nice. Also, if you are uh, eventually Actually, when you are serving outdoors again, it's nice to have something with a lid on it so that the flies and the bugs, you're, you ever cook outdoors and you got burgers outside and you know there's flies everywhere? This is gonna keep everything protected as well. It's all machine, uh, our, our dishwasher safe. If you want to, I would just wash it out. It makes life a lot easier. And um, you can get a lot of food on there. We'll go back to Ray and we'll check out, look at some of the food and some of the dishes you did there, Ray. Well, I mean, you gave me the perfect setup for a lot of food too. Watch, <laughs> see what I got on this one over here. How's that wow. looking? See, it's a yeah. steamer, too. We've yep. got the rack in there. Underneath, we've got a little bit of white wine. I'll put a little bit extra, just kind of drizzled over my legs. we got lemons down in there to help with the flavor. But that's a lot of crab legs. I don't have any other pan in my arsenal. And I got a lot of them that could cook this many crab legs this beautifully. And steaming is the way you want to cook your crab legs. You don't want to boil them. I think this thing would be worth it if you only used it to steam yeah. crab legs. Oh, yeah. Because this is beautiful. Look at the amount of room you have in there. You know what's so funny? Because I actually, as we speak, Ray, I've got Alaskan king crabs sitting in my refrigerator. Uh, I went and got, there you I, go. I got four big jumbo legs, and I'm going to serve them with a prime rib uh, tomorrow. But I, you're 100% right. I always, I always have to break them all up to cook them. With that, you, yep. and I don't like to do that. I like to cook them whole, keep you know, keep the integrity of the crab. But with that, you can fit all that crab. You must have at least five, six pounds worth of crab in there as well. It's so, enough for a whole yeah. bunch of us. Or, yeah, normally, I have a big pan, and I have to create some sort of rack system, yeah. and it doesn't work well. This is my new crab leg cooker for sure. Look at that. So it, it, you can go through your own mind of the things you'd love to cook on there. If you're just making burgers and dogs for the kids, you know, Ray, when you, if you got kids, they come over and you got to feed them. It's great. If you're doing a big breakfast for everybody, maybe you're doing a brunch. Um, you know what I was thinking too, Ray? It'd be ideal for, uh, for grilled sandwiches, right? Yeah, sure, because it would make them look nice, too. You know, those yeah. ridges, you think the ridges are kind of kind of interesting. It makes everything look really cool. Did you see those pancakes? The yes. look that was on those? Oh, yeah. That was great. Yeah, now, and veggies, I know people, too. Would, people, are, people are surprised. I do cook vegetables, too, occasionally. Um, <laughs> but again, it's got that nice, that nice sear on there. See that brown? Yeah. That's the color you want. But, what, you know, if you put these on your regular grill or even a fry pan, they're not going to be done yet. Right. They look like that, and they would taste good, but they're raw. All we do is close the hood, 
and they'll steam up in there and finish up. I think it's a great way to cook. That's a lot of vegetables right there. That, yeah. The size is the thing I like about it, too, because I don't like to cook for just a couple people. No. You know, I got to cook a lot of stuff. All right, you ready? Here's the money shot. Yeah, this yeah, side yeah, over yeah. here. Let me see. I am Dr. Barbecue, oh, so I had to cook you some king. barbecued ribs. Ray's barbecue is like no other barbecue on the planet. Stuff is awesome. Look at those ribs. You went dry on Isn't those that ribs. Beautiful? <laughs> we did, yeah. I got some barbecue sauce over here. I like to serve that on the side. Me dry too. rub is the way to go. Me too. But you see what we did? We put sear marks on them. Yeah. And you could do that outside on the grill. You could even put some wood chips underneath in here. It's going to smoke your house up a little bit. Just make sure the vent is on. Yeah. A little bit of wood chips. Not going to take much. Gonna give it that smoky flavor, and then put the rack in. This is how we cook ribs. The barbecue competition champions all cook ribs in a two-step process. You get them browned up like this, and then we will usually wrap them in foil. We don't have to do that now. We just close the, the hood on this, and we've got that steaming effect that finishes them up. Now watch this. Let's see how tender these are. Look, oh, how does Ray. That look, huh? I know Ray's barbecue. Look at it. Oh, no, the isn't best. that beautiful? You know, and look at that. That'd be a shame to put sauce on these. No, eggs. Look, I know. Look, like look at that, that perfect pink color on the inside. And remember, all Ray did was he seared them and he finished them right in. He never even had to step one foot outside to cook that barbecue. And Ray, that's yep. a great point. I never thought about it. If you wanted to put a couple of chips in there to get a little smoke, you know, wet the chips down and put them in there. You, you've got Definitely. indoor barbecue. Just make sure, like we said, like Ray said, make sure you've got your uh, your fan on so you can suck out the smoke. But I mean, you can get. You can get real good barbecue indoors, and we've never been able to do that before. I'm like you, Ray. I like my well, sauce you, on the side. <laughs> we, yeah, maybe a little bit. I do that. I just make, make it look nice. But yeah. if I was going to, I'm going to eat that one underneath that doesn't have any sauce on it. <laughs> All right. If you want it, it's seven zero zero eight zero four. That's the item number today. It's over fifty percent off. All right. You're looking at the unit. Here it is, right here. This is the this is the little hood that comes with it. Just close up the hood. So if you're serving outdoors, eventually, and maybe in the summer, use this as, as a great cover. In uh, in the wintertime, you can cook on your stove. This is remember, this is stovetop. Use the burner underneath. Put it on the burner. If you want a barbecue, you can take a handful of whatever chips you have, wet them obviously, let them soak for for 30 minutes or so. Put those in there, and then make sure you have your fan on. And now you can get a great smoked barbecue flavor. If you've got kids or grandkids and you want to make hamburgers and hot dogs and or maybe you want to grill some kobas or you want to do something special you want to do a whole bunch of rubens right you can do them and just remove the rack and do them right on the grill it's ideal for doing steaks so if you love ribeyes or if you love a london broil right i mean london broil really needs to get seared and grilled and you always do that outside well now you can do it inside pfoa ptfe uh free so you don't have to worry about any of the nasty stuff in your finish and by the way, it is a ceramic finish. Very easy to clean. It is dish safe. Although I never really use my, uh, my pans. I never put them in the dishwasher. I just rinse them out. It's just a little bit easier. But you're going to get that convection. Ray, explain how that works, the convection part. Yeah, it cleans up so easy that you don't have to put it in the dishwasher. But the convection is, that's what I, the beauty of this. Because we can get it browned like a skillet or any kind of grill. But then when we close the lid, the liquid, a little bit of liquid in the bottom gets to simmering and starts swirling around in there. We got these few vents up on top and everything gets cooked even and it gets cooked. We brown it and finish it. It's the perfect way to cook things. And these are my creme brulees. I couldn't leave you without some dessert. Uh, it's also, so we've got the rack back in. I had some steam underneath. We've let these cool now. Had some steam underneath, cook these just like this. Get them cooked beautifully, and then of course we top them off with the torch, Ray. the creme brulee. What makes creme brulee what it is? Ray, Ray, Anybody Ray, with one the, of those? It's Ray, Ray, Ray with the creme brulee. <laughs> Look at that, Ray. I'm making one of those as soon as we get done. You're, you're making everything that I absolutely love. <laughs> I love, I love your ribs, and I've had your barbecue before, and it's uh, incredible. But I'm a big creme brulee fan. I, I've never, I've never made it at home, but I, I don't think it's really. I think there's a little, a couple of different steps. I know how to make it. I've just never done it at home. But looking at it right there, and I bet if you, you know, doing it right on stovetop without having to, to bake it in the oven, it's a, it's a great way to be able to do it. It really is. It's so simple, right? Because yeah. you want to cook it with water in the bottom. We call bain marie cooking. So you want to have the water in the bottom so it doesn't burn. It's kind of a steaming effect that happens. This is ideal for it. Like I said, I really think I would buy this product just for the steaming. Between the crab legs and the creme brulee, that would sell me on it for sure. Hey, Ray, I was, you, you got about 30 seconds. You, you got to give me, you got to tell me how to make a little stuffed burger with this burger press. You see this? Yeah, it's wrong. Where is that? It's right thing? behind you. So, <laughs> there it is. 
Yeah, this thing's crazy. You can stuff all kinds of things. So you put some of the meat in, yeah. and then you press it down. It makes this cavity. So you put you can put just cheese, or you can put ham and Ooh. cheese. You can put a, make a crab cake in there. Or what do they call that, Ray? Juicy asparagus. Lucy? Is that what they call it? Juicy Lucy. Juicy then, Lucy. Yeah, some bar in Minnesota that yeah. invented the stuff burger. Now <laughs> it's easy. Everybody can do it at home. See, this thing presses the cavity hey, for you, and then you put a little you know, meat on top. You're, you're awesome, Ray. And I know you know that one of the most important things is having the right tools. You know that as, as a barbecue professional multi award winner Ray knows this is the kind of tool that's going to help you cook better inside your house not not for a thousand people but maybe just for your crowd uh, inside your home 700804 Ray Lamp thank you my man it's good to see you good to see you guys thanks all right buddy take care all right we're going to keep going it's, it's it's fast it's quick it's it's clearance time here's Ty he's got our next yeah, welcome to Clearance. So have you heard about air frying? Maybe you've wanted to dip your toe in the air frying world. It's really hot right now for a lot of good reasons. Uh, it's quick. It's using a lot of less oil, but maybe you didn't want to buy an air fryer. You didn't know which one to buy. Well, from Wolfgang Puck, world-renowned, award-winning chef, he's bringing you something which I think is really genius because you can kind of use what you already have at home. Do you have a pressure cooker at home, which a lot of us do? Well, this is the Wolfgang Puck 1,000-watt air fryer lid that it turns your pressure cooker into an air fryer. It will fit on top of your pressure cooker and it comes with the air frying basket, comes with the air frying tray, also comes with this great little mat. So when you take the lid off, you know exactly where to put it and it turns it into an air frying. So you can try the air frying with your pressure cooker at home without having to buy it. Now we'll get into why air frying. So stay with me. I'm gonna let our guests talk us through why air frying is, is such a trend right now and it's so great. But let me show you the colors you have to choose from. You can choose right here in front of me, of course, is the black. Off to my right here. This, of course, always fun in the kitchen, this nice pop of color red, or you can also get this in the white. Today, this is the lowest price we've ever offered this. It is $49.93, less than 50 bucks to turn that pressure cooker into an air fryer. Five flexible payments of $9.95. This is a customer pick. Your item number is 698-400, and I'm honored to have Wolfgang Puck's longtime sous chef here with me this morning, Marion Gads. Good morning, Marion. Good morning, <laughs> happy holidays. It's so good to be here with you, Ty. And what a great thing to talk about air frying. Why? Because brown foods taste good. And if they can be <laughs> brown and crispy, oh, it's just the best thing ever. And this can do that. But what's so amazing about this lid is that it fits on any six or eight quart pressure cooker. That's important because how many of us have used a pressure cooker to make something so loved like macaroni and cheese? But here's the thing. Yeah, it cooks really quickly. It's all perfectly done. But where's the brown top? Where's that That's caramelized right. cheese that makes it so crazy? So here's that bowl of macaroni and cheese. But look at what the air fryer lid did. It took that lovely food that cooked in about eight minutes flat but took the gooey part that's there, but caramelized the top. This is the part that I love best. And if that sounds good to you, but you don't wanna have to invest in a whole air fryer that's separate. How nice does that look? And imagine wow. making this as a side tomorrow when your oven is full, the stove is full, but you can use your pressure cooker to make something that's so gooey. It makes all those lovely strings of cheese, but caramelizes that top. That's the magic of Wolfgang. And he listens to us, Ty. We said, Wolfgang, we want this, but we don't want a whole other appliance. Can you please help us out and make something that's smaller and that makes sense for um, our small kitchens that have so many appliances? And I want to illustrate real quick for you another thing, why these two things go hand in hand so beautifully. And that is this. We cook in the pressure cooker boneless, skinless chicken breasts because we know they're healthy, because we know they don't have a lot of fat. It's the number one consumed meat in America. But when it comes out of the pressure cooker, this sad looking thing is the reality. <laughs> yes, it's true. done, it's tender, it's juicy and delicious, but boy, it sure doesn't look very good. But watch what you can do. This is the basket that comes with the air fryer lid. This is just pasta sauce right out of the jar, your favorite kind or homemade. And we're gonna just turn this into like an Italian chicken breast that'll knock your socks off in about five minutes. A couple of slices of provolone cheese, or just maybe just one. And then I love the everything bagel seasoning. And then watch, the trivet is already in here. This comes with the air fryer lid. So see it right mm -hmm. here? And I love to use a fork to lift it out too. Okay. But it's silicone footed and it's nonstick. 
So you can cook on that or you can use the basket. So this is that basket. It's got two little handles. So in that sad, previously sad looking chicken breast goes. <laughs> right. And then on goes the lid. And this is how easy it is to use. It just sits on like any, we said anybody's six or eight quart pressure cooker. You're not going to have the pl pressure cooker plugged in. So that, that kind of cooking is already done. Now to crisp and brown, you're going to follow me up here. This lid has to be down. There's actually a little safety button right here. Yep. So if you notice yours didn't turn on, you've got to lock that lid down till it clicks. Follow me here. And this is where you set the temperature. It goes all the way to 500. If you want to dehydrate, you can drop, drop it all the way down. But we're going to go higher and broil this for you. And then for the time, it'll default to 20 minutes. You just up or down it. And then you hit start and you'll watch it glow. And it's just going to start working its magic. A broiler that's so fast and easy and it goes right on your existing pressure cooker. Yeah. I think Wolfgang is a genius because he saves this room. He really, he really is. That's re it's really beautiful. Instead of getting that other appliance to do all those other things, sometimes we just don't want to. Sometimes that kind of holds us back. We like, we want to try the dehydrating and the air frying, but I don't want to invest. I don't have room for another appliance. Thank you, Wolfgang. This is such a brilliant idea. And you said it goes up to 500 degrees. So if you're interested in dehydrating, which I think is great, whatever you're dehydrating the, the, for the fruit or whatever, it is, uh, it'll go up to 500 degrees. And speaking of temperature and time settings, uh, we're taking, we're getting a really good look at the front here. And just look kind of, kind of easy and basic it is to just walk you through. It's very self-explanatory, very user-friendly. Your button's right there on the front and the digital display. So you know exactly your time and temp and exactly how to do it. And as Marion said on the back, if I lift the handle, you'll see that it turns off. That's the safety feature on the back off. And then when I clip it back in, there it is. The lowest price we've ever offered this, $49.93, five flexible payments. Um, <clears throat> Marion, we talked about air frying, and I know some people are watching and they're still wondering, okay, but what, what is, how does air frying work? How does it actually work? How am I getting that crisp on the outside without a whole bunch of oil? And I'm so glad you, you said that, Ty. It reminds me that I need to show you the underside of this lid. So when I pick it up, there's a big fan in there that's protected by that metal plate. So when there's a, and there's a heating element above that fan. So if you take the heating element plus a strong fan and blow it, it blows that incredibly hot air over whatever you put in front of it, or in this case, mm. below it. So what it's using is doing superheated air blowing down to dry the exterior of whatever the food is, and then to start caramelizing it and browning it. And brown foods taste good. That's what we really <laughs> want to eat. So right. let me show you this one. <laughs> Oh, this and this trivet that I just put the lid on comes with it. It's a silicone trivet, so you can put that hot lid on so there. Great. Tie. It's really important. All right, what and you so got there? Is, what, what you got there? What am I looking at? Oh, this is a church pasta broccoli casserole that my family loves. And, you know, right now, going through this pandemic, the comforting foods that used to bring us so much joy, they have such a new meaning. Mm -hmm. I know for so many of us that's the case. But if you love old-fashioned foods like this, yes, they're great when you can make them in your pressure cooker. But then what happens to the top? It's just sad and wet and not brown. <laughs> so once you add those cheesy crackers to the top, you pop on the air fryer lid for five minutes flat, and look what you get. Now you've got texture. That's what we crave when we're using less oil, like what you can do with air frying. Less oil, but then you add that lid and you get all that brown, crusty stuff on top. Right. That's the magic, right? You can just see what I'm talking about right there. That's right. And, and, and the texture <laughs> is what's important, too. I think that's yes. where, what we're afraid we're going to miss with air frying is, is texture. Because we like that crisp. We like that brown. And a lot of times we think about air frying. We think, well, we can't possibly get that. Or if I do have to get that, I've got to buy a giant appliance and bring it into the house and try to find a place to fit it you don't wolfgang has given us the lid so if you're just joining me this morning welcome in it is kitchen clearance my name is ty mayberry i'm here with my buddy and co-host guy yovan and we are talking about kitchen turn going into that new year we're going to be uh, in the kitchen probably more you're learning some new skills already let's let's upgrade our kitchen game a little bit what i have here in front of me this is from wolfgang puck world-renowned award-winning chef and what he's done for us he said look I know you're getting into the air frying game and you're hearing about air frying, but maybe you don't want to buy a giant other appliance to see if you like air frying, but you probably have a pressure cooker at home. So this is the Wolfgang Puck, thousand watt, 
air fryer lid. So you put this on top of your pressure cooker and it turns it into that air fryer. So now you can cook with less oil with something that you just have at home already. And you are getting the air frying basket right here and you're getting the, the, the tray at the bottom and then you're getting the silicone pad to set it down on because Wolfgang thinks about us. He thinks about when you're in the kitchen, what do you need? What do you want to do? What do you not want to do? Well, I just want to put this on top of my pressure cooker. I want to brown the top of whatever's in there or maybe I want to start from scratch and make something just, uh, just uh, in my air fryer or I want to dehydrate. So it goes up to 500 degrees and right here on the front, nice, easy digital display, walks you right through everything and then you can get that nice crisp browning on the front and you can give that air frying a try without buying the big new air fryer. And this is the lowest price we've ever done this. This is kitchen clearance. If you're just tuning in with me this morning, congratulations, you tuned in at the right time. This is clearance. This is where not only everyone shopping with us loves it, but everybody here who works here, we love clearance days. Uh, your item number is 698. 400. It is a customer pick, and you're getting it for $49.93. I want to head back over to Marion because she's got some beautiful cooking up there. What you got, Marion? Well, this is what I want to show you. If you love ribs, you know, in the winter, we're not really going out to the barbecue grill so much, but when you want to look at the favorite recipe, one of the most popular ones online for, you know, that instant kind of pressure cooker are ribs because they're so fast and they come out so tender. But the reality is, unless you put a whole ton of rub on them, this is how they look when they come out. They're mm. very tender. They're very flavorful, but they look terrible. But your favorite <laughs> barbecue sauce, 10 minutes in the basket on the air fryer, and I did 475. This is what happens. It caramelizes. Isn't that what we crave, Ty? Yes. That beautiful oh, meat that's, that's all it. tender and steamy and good. But please don't think that it's just for meat. Follow me here. Mm -hmm. If you love an open-faced cheese toast, under the air fryer lid, three minutes, and the bottom stays soft. And if you're a dessert person like my precious grandchildren who can never get enough chocolate in the whole world, I think this is one of the easiest desserts in the world. It's the little dessert cups that you buy in the pastry or in the produce section, uh -huh. some of that chocolate spread, and some of that marshmallow fluff. Three minutes un under the air fryer and look. It's so gooey. The chocolate is perfect. Oh, wow. The marshmallow look at that. topping in the is air brown. fryer. Oh, wow. Yeah, you can do this. Oh my goodness, <laughs> your grandkids are the luckiest. Look at that. Oh, that's fantastic. So yeah, now is the time, like check it out. If if you're thinking about like well, the uses uh, of an air fryer, thinking about like jumping in and giving it a try, don't, you know, you don't have to buy a whole new device. You can just, and again, this is from Wolfgang Puck. Are you kidding me? Come on. If you are gonna try it from the world-renowned, award-winning chef Wolfgang Puck, just like Marion said, he thinks about us in the kitchen. He says, what, what will people do? What do they wanna do? What do they not wanna do? And make it easy. And that's what he does for us. And he brings us, it's a thousand watt air fryer lid. So you're not buying a big air fryer. You're buying the lid to go on top of your pressure cooker. Marion, we've got about 30 seconds left. I don't want to miss anything that you have in your kitchen. Yes, yes. So here's that sad looking chicken breast that looks so terrible. You'd be embarrassed to serve it. But look at how it transforms under that air fryer lid where it can caramelize and brown and make something that's so delicious. This is where it's at. It's juicy. It's now got some beautiful flavor on top yes. and it's caramelized. This is the magic of Wolfgang Puck, and I'm so grateful that he made this for us. Oh, I am too. I can't believe that's the same chicken breast that we just <laughs> saw. Look at that. See where you transform it. Uh, Marion, this is such a great idea for so many people that want to try air frying, want to add that, add that touch to their pre pressure cooker. Thank you to Wolfgang, and thank you to you for being here with me this morning, Marion. <laughs> Bye now. We'll see you again soon. Bye. All right. All right, we're gonna keep things going. We're in the kitchen and we're giving you great deals. Clarence, uh, what does my man Guy got uh, cooking we, up? You know, we are, we are showing people so many different ways to cook things. We are. It's, I mean, it's like we, we should are. just call this, the, 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 you know, the Ty and Guy. Here's a lot of ways to cook stuff, right? <laughs> well, you know what the thing is, Ty, and you know this too, uh, with your family, you know, everybody likes something a little bit different. Everybody likes uh, their foods a little bit different. Some people like a lot of things the same, but what's neat about cookware is everybody uh, gravitates towards what they like to cook. If you love, and I'm just gonna say this right out of the gate, if you love rotisserie chicken, you know the chicken you go and you buy at the store and you spend like eight or nine or 10 bucks on, on a, you know, on a little teeny tiny chicken. If you love a roasted chicken, this next pan is perfect for that. It's called the turbo cooker. It's an all-in-one skillet that's gonna allow you to do not just little tiny birds, but you've got a lot of space inside here. If you open it up, it comes with this heavy duty rack. So anything you wanna steam, you can do your steaming in here as well. But when you put a bird in there, you
you can put your veggies in, uh, uh, you know, a chicken, put the lid on, and right into the oven, this entire thing is oven safe to 500 degrees. All riveted handles, remember what I talked to you about before, we love our rivets. I'm gonna show you the inside. We can actually see the inside of the pan right there. Here's a perfect idea, all in one meal. And you can even do several different types of food, right? If you wanna do some salmon on the top, and you can do some chicken underneath. If you're looking for a pan with room, this thing is, is jumbo size, all right? So you've got lots of room inside. It's over four quarts of capacity. So if you're braising, it's perfect for that as well. Uh, <coughs> it's got a great nonstick on the inside. If you wanna do, uh, you know, the cooking, like the Bain Marie cooking, where you cook in a water bath, um, you could do that as well, which is great for cheesecakes. It's actually good for any cakes, uh, to cook them in a water bath. Most people don't know how to do that. You could do that as well. The pan itself, when you look at it, I've taken everything out, you'll see there's an extra level on top. That's to be able, to, uh, not only to put the lid on, but also to be able to nestle your rack inside. And I'll grab the rack, there it is. And you see how that goes there. So if you wanted to use this as a deep fryer, you could do that as well, right? And you could put your, uh, uh, your uh, items on the top when they're finished. But to me, it's all about this lid. I love it. I mean, it's a very, very high quality piece. This is normally $100 for this getup, all right? And it's worth it. Today, you will get it at over 50% off. It's about 55% off, okay? It is clearance, so if you get over 75, your shipping will be free. Um, it is a customer pick on hsn.com. See the little blue banner over there? But honestly, it's an all-in-one meal maker. So you could do your, your, your uh, protein on the bottom, you could do your veggies on the top. If you're not a meat eater, you could do your veggies and your rice, you could do that all under one roof. Let me introduce you to our special guest, Francis Biondi. Our chef is standing by. First of all, Merry Christmas to you, my friend. It's great to see you. Merry Christmas to you too, Guy. Great to see you too. <laughs> hey, talk to me. I, you know, I know you know all things kitchen, but the, the high dome lid to me is, is everything. I love that. The high dome lid is everything. Uh, as you said, it is an all-in-one cooking platform. So um, we have this amazing steam rack. So you can steam or cook your fish, veggies. Uh, think of making your desserts, your entrees, appetizers, and side dishes all in one pot. Uh, so you have four quarts here to work with. It's an amazing deep dish uh, uh, a type of a, a structure. So this is like your new Dutch oven. Um, you said you can cook a whole chicken or you can. You can cook pot roasts. Uh, you can cook things as delicate as fish. I'm gonna do a little breakfast frittata. I have, uh, so frittatas in, in, in my Italian uh, background is just gonna be a lot of leftovers you might have at home. So uh, I'm in Texas, we love our barbecue. I have some awesome brisket here. I just let, uh, let some potatoes crisp up here as well as some onions. I'm gonna add a little bit of water here. And this dome allows for a convection like uh, happening here. So I'm going to put this dome right on top of here. I'm going to close the valve. And when you close the valve, you're allowing all that all that liquid to not to instantly steam mm -hmm. up. And now it starts cooking everything evenly and rapidly. So I'm allowing that meat to just warm through a little bit. I'm going to keep a little bit of the water in there and I'm going to add some eggs now. So I'm going to add my egg mixture. And again, this is breakfast time. This is an amazing, nice, fluffy, uh, it should be nice and high when it comes out um, egg dish. So I'm just pouring in my egg mixture in there, a little bit of cream. And, and remember, I didn't add any oils. I didn't add any fats at all. I didn't add any spray pan, any butter. And I'm going to add a little bit of frozen corn too. Yes, you can take frozen dishes and put them right into uh, this little turbo cooker. And guess what? Because it's made out of a, a ceramic, nonstick, titanium, super durable material, I can go in with my fork and yeah. I don't have to worry about scratching this material. That's what's great about that. I, I love the whole look of it, Francis, because <clears throat> to me, first of all, I like having a pan that has a lot of room. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you get a lot of room in this pan, over four quarts of capacity. I mean, obviously, you know, the, the obvious thing right here is, okay, the perfect popcorn maker. Yes, it is a perfect popcorn maker in addition to everything else, but I love the size of it. I love Francis helper handles. You know, those are expensive. Uh, that's why this was over $100. You know, you've got two sets of handles here and they're all, it's an all riveted design. So these are, are built to last. Uh, this, uh, this here will go up to 500 degrees. You could put this in the oven. So the size of this, I mean, you could actually do a big round meatloaf in here. You could do an upside down cake. Um, you could do big meals. You could do, uh, you know, big things of sauce with meatballs and sausage. You could do all those. But let's talk about the construction. Uh, Francis, take us through what we're looking at. <clears throat> sure, yeah. So you're going to be looking at a nice deep dish skillet, four quarts. Um, you're going to see this beautiful copper-like coating on the inside. That's going to be your seranium. It's a ceramic titanium. It's nonstick. It's highly durable. It is all made out of titanium as well. Uh, so when you're talking about looking at this handle here, it's oven safe. It's dishwasher safe. Uh, you don't have to worry about uh, 
potentially scratching this because titanium is one of the strongest materials yeah. known to man, you know, and they have this amazing patented ceramic coating. So everything just kind of slides around. I put in some sausages here in the bottom of this pan. I had them just cook a little bit and look how they just slide around. Yeah. And when that, once that frittata is done, it's just going to slide right off in your plate. What's great about this as well is it's nice and deep, so you can have a nice big roast chicken, or um, on top of that too, you can have one of your steaming racks go right on top here in one of those beveled edges. So I have a nice high high spot for my steaming rack, or I could steam it nice and low as yeah. well if I have a nice high cake, like you were talking about, cheesecakes. Yeah. Or, you know, or if you, like, let's say you had breakfast rolls and you wanted to heat them up, yes. right? I mean, maybe you're making, exactly. little, you're making little egg sandwiches for the kids, right? So you can have exactly. the eggs and the sausage on the bottom. You can have the rolls here on the top you can melt the cheese uh, i love these uh, pasta dishes that francis does the, these are these are basically like dump dishes where you just pour everything in put the lid on and let the steam do the work right because you know that it's going to absorb all that liquid and it's going to be delicious and best of all you've really only used and messed up one pan right i mean that's all it is a little bit of water to uh, reconstitute that pasta and if, if francis wants at the end he could add cheese i mean you could do so many things but i love i also love the the high lid <clears throat> because it's kind of dramatic. You know what I mean, Francis? It's like when you bring it to the table and you get to do the old ta-da, and you get to take that lid off. If it's if you've got a uh, <clears throat> you know a ham in there or a roast beef, or if you've got a chicken or a turkey, whatever it is, a smaller turkey, there's just something about that, right? You've got a lid that's able to handle it. Really quickly, because I don't even believe I've, uh, I, I'm, I, I think my producer, Brian, is telling me, I don't think I've gone through colors yet. So we do have it available in three colors. Uh, the most popular is all stainless. I got 400 left, if you want that. The one that I've been showing you back here is called copper, if you want this one. Uh, I'm, I'm okay, I got a little bit more in the copper. And then I'm uh, the best stocked one and the most popular is the red, which is beautiful. If you buy it today, it's 55% off. All high-end features, the lid is beautiful. It's very heavy duty, it's not cheap. It's a th real thick gauge metal. All right, the pan itself, the same thing, very heavy gauge uh, uh, of aluminum. Uh, and then you've got that titanium uh, built into this as well. <clears throat> and then you've got the fusion uh, nonstick inside, which is amazing too. So you can use this with pretty much no oil. If you wanna do uh, egg dishes or if you're trying to fight your calories a little bit, you can do oil-free cooking. And then I love, Francis showed you that you can use the rack this way, or you can flip it over and you can elevate it that way, which might be good if you've got like pasta in there and you wanna heat up some garlic bread, you can just put that on like that, take the lid, it'll fit right over, it nestles down. If you look, it goes beneath the lip. That's a big deal. See that? A lot of pans don't have that nice recess like that. That keeps all the steam inside so you're not gonna have a mess on your stove. There's a little valve on the top which will either uh, contain the steam or release it. Depends on what you're cooking. You're gonna get uh, some great recipe cards to go along with this, and they're really, really good fun recipes that you can make. All-in-one meals are great, right? Easy to clean, easy to cook, oven safe to 500 degrees. There's no, there's no like, well, you can put this in, but you can't put that in. No, you throw it right in, let it cook, and, and you're gonna get great results, all right? Because you're really creating, mean, Francis, you're creating a little oven, right? That's exactly right. Uh, so I have some chicken here that I marinated overnight. Now, um, if you forget to just, you know, defrost your chicken, you can actually throw fro frozen meat in here, add a little bit of water, and have that de defrost a lot quicker than you would if you put it in an oven or microwave. Uh, so I have some chicken that I've marinated in a little bit of soy sauce, some hoisin, some nice fresh garlic, add a little bit of apple cider vinegar, a little Filipino taste in there. Um, so I'm just gonna throw all the chicken in with the marinade and that liquid is gonna allow to start steaming as soon as I add that top in. But with that chicken, uh, as that cooks, you know, protein's always gonna go in first because it's gonna cook a little bit more. I'm gonna add in some of my vegetables. I'm gonna add in my carrots, my onions, and these are harder vegetables. The carrots are gonna take a little bit longer to cook. So that's why I'm adding them in right now with my chicken. Now I put this on high and what I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna have, you know what? I want some dumplings too with this meal. I want another side dish and I wanna steam those dumplings. So I'm gonna take my steaming rack here and put it right on top of this little plate. I'm gonna place all of my dumplings right on top of that steaming rack and I have the steaming rack on high just to give myself some, some room to cook with my chicken. And I'm just gonna lay them out and fan them out nice like that. And look at the steaming rack, it just fits perfectly right on top of your turbo cooker. And see how the steam is starting to rise. You can kind of see it off the black there. I'm gonna close this up. And now because of this high dome construction, all that steam is 
allowed to rise up as high as it can. And in that dome, it starts to circulate. And as it circulates, it creates that convection oven uh, effect. And you're going to be able to just cook beautiful chicken, beautiful dumplings, beautiful breads. Uh, think of nice high rising cakes, sponges, delicate, uh, delicate desserts. I mean, it's, it's amazing what you can cook in this turbo cooker. All right. And you see how it works, right? So you generate <clears throat> the heat on the bottom. It creates that natural convection when it hits the dome. It circles back in and it circulates through your food. It's an efficient way to cook. Um, it, it, you're gonna get great even heat distribution, which is important obviously in cooking. And you can adjust that little steam valve as you see fit when you're cooking, but get it <clears throat> one more time. Stainless, all stainless, most limited. Just a few hundred of these remain. All right, if you want it in copper, I got that. The most popular is red. We have that as well. Uh, all these are available on clearance price day. Remember when you buy or, when you're shopping clearance today, once you hit $75, all your shipping is free on whatever you picked up in clearance. So it's a great time to be shopping clearance today. We're all doing it, the hosts are all doing it. It's a great time for us to shop as well. So take advantage of that. Thank you guys for putting that up. $9.72 is your flex pay. Take advantage of that. Francis, great job, good to see you. Uh, happy holidays, Merry Christmas to you, my friend. <laughs> I read his lips, he said Merry Christmas back to me. All right, uh, uh, also available really quick before Ty uh, wraps things up here uh, in our two hour show. Debbie Meyer's got a great, great clearance set of her uh, green boxes. Uh, this is the thing that's gonna preserve the lives of your fruits and vegetables and snacks and breads. Uh, uh, it's proven, tested uh, to make things last longer, 21 days on those nasty looking carrots. Uh, but anyway, if you wanna save money, save time, save space in your refrigerator or on your cabinets, you need to get this collection. It's a 32 piece set. It was $62, it's a jumbo set. Today, $27, a good time to stock up. 668-713, I will say uh, Merry Christmas to all of you. Thank you so much, what a wonderful year. I will hand things off to my bro, Mr. Ty, and he'll take you the rest of the way. Thank you, Guy. You Happy buddy. holidays, my friend. Uh, let's talk about kind of the items we have in our kitchen. Do you have a cast iron piece in your assembly in the kitchen? Do you have that in your arsenal? If, if you don't, you probably don't because of a couple of reasons. One, they can be very expensive. Two, they can be very big and heavy. Three, there is some care that you have to take with them. Well, enter Cuisinart. Of course, Cuisinart, one of the biggest names in the kitchen. They are bringing us the Cuisinart Cast Light non-stick 4.7 quart Dutch oven. That's right, so it's cast light because it is a lighter, right? Also has these stay cool handles on the side. And yes, I said non-stick. It is a non-stick cast iron. So you're still getting that great flavor from that cast iron. You're getting this beautiful enamel finish. You're getting all the things that we love about cast iron and none of the things that we hate about cast iron. You can see on your screen there, it is a customer pick. It is 670-045. It is on clearance today for $54.95. To add this piece, which you can do so much in this Dutch oven, to add this piece to your kitchen for $54.95. Five flexible payments of $10.99. And if you are just joining us here for the first time here at HSN, welcome in. You picked a good day, it's kitchen clearance. And five flexible payments, that just means we're gonna take that price. We're gonna spread it out over five months. No added fee, no added interest. You don't have to have the HSN credit card. Any major debt debit card or credit card will work. Uh, uh, let me go through the colors real quick to show you uh, down here on my right hand side. This is the teal and I believe right here in front of me is the, this is the black right here down. And of course here up front, the red, always popular in the red. Now this is the blue, it's a real dark blue. It may kind of look like the black here, but this is the really dark blue. Go to hsn.com, you get a better look at that. And then up here, this is the silver right here. Now this is the most limited. If you love this, we only have about 300 left in this. So if you got your eye on this, I'd hop into the, the ordering process now. So you can add a piece of cast iron into your, into your, your kitchen very easily from Cuisinart, a, no, a name that you know, that you love, and that you trust. So joining me again this morning is Kelly Diedring. Welcome back, Kelly. How are you? Ty, good. How are you? Uh, good. This is one of my favorite pieces by Cuisinart. This is part of our cast light set. And why do I say cast light? Well, it has all the features of cast iron, but it's 30% lighter. So if you're somebody that hates the big clunky cast iron that maybe was passed down from generation to generation to you, this is the set you want to grab. It's still hefty. Don't get me wrong. This is not, you know, flimsy or anything like that. 
it is still cast iron, but what we did was we took out 30% of the weight because a lot of people complain about cast iron being too sure, heavy. Sure, yeah. The other thing that we did, Ty, and I know you're gonna love this, is that we added our premium resilience exclusive four coating nonstick to cast iron. So this is light cast iron and it's nonstick cast iron. It's also, ready for this? Don't miss it, dishwasher safe cast iron. That's crazy. So it's crazy. By the way, it also comes with a lifetime warranty. So for Cuisinart to give you a lifetime warranty, they know you are never gonna wanna send this back, right? Because people don't give That's lifetime right. warranties on things they think are coming back to them. You're going to absolutely adore this pan. So for cast iron, it has that great heat retention. That's one of the reasons that we love cast iron, right? right? You can take this to your table. So let's say, and it's got these two nice helper handles. So it's not too heavy for me. You can see my big pot of chili. I could take this to the table and it would retain the heat. And that's what we love about cast mm -hmm. iron. But what we hate about cast iron is that it's too heavy. Like a normal cast iron pot that like grandma sent me, I'd be like literally like lumbering right. to the table with this or I may not even make it. Because we made it lighter, because we gave it our premium nonstick coating, it'll retain the heat at the table, but it's not going to have all those icky features of the traditional cast iron. Like the fact that when you grab cast iron, my husband has a big old pot. I don't know where it came from, if it was an hmm. heirloom or what. But every time I reach for it, I get the black. It's like yes. the cast iron rubs off or something. Right. He also does not allow me to ever put it in the sink and soak it. This can sit in the sink and soak. You can rinse it. You can dishwash it. There's no flavor transfers. Um, you don't even have to season this. A lot of people hate cast iron because you have to constantly season it. Right. You don't have to season it. So from my chilies, and it comes with a glass lid, you can see here. The lid is oven safe to 350. And the actual pot, the Dutch oven or the casserole pot, whatever you want to call it, is oven safe tie to 500 degrees. That's great. Um, so you can bake in it. You can bake in it. Um, it's induction safe, induction mm -hmm. ready, mm -hmm. glass cooktop, which is what you see I have. It's also, you know, going to go on um, ceramic. I mean, any kind of cooktop. You don't have to worry about that. But look okay. at the capacity. This is what I like, right? Oh, yeah. Because you can feed either a large family or you can have leftovers, and that's my favorite. I like to cook one. Yeah, it's like really that right times. size because I'm seeing you hold it now. I'm I'm holding it here, and it does have heft to it. It's not like um, what I'm used to cast iron being kind of a little bit too heavy, especially when it's full. Cast iron can be very heavy, but there is heft to it. There is a real solid heft, and that beautiful enamel finish, which we are used to seeing, which is really beautiful, and these stay cool handles. So you're getting. A cast iron piece, everything you love about cast iron, but without all the weight. It is dishwasher safe. You're getting a lifetime warranty and non-stick, which I think is just crazy. A non-stick cast iron piece for you kitchen and you do get to pick your colors some of these are running a little bit low uh most popular right now is red but i am running low on the silver about 250 on the silver so if you're taking a look at that i would jump into the ordering process either hsn.com or on the phone you'll need your item number which is six seven zero zero four five um now it says right there on your screen uh, dutch oven i have to ask kelly and maybe this is a silly question uh what is as far as a dutch oven or a stock pot is, is there a difference yeah. between the too because I know of like things that I usually do in my stock pot or in my slow can I yeah. still do those in a Dutch oven yeah so a traditional Dutch oven just means that it's a deep pot with a lid okay. so that's really all the Dutch okay. oven means of course so you get that nice deep pot stock pot casserole pot okay. you know lots of names for it same same capacity but what we like about the lid is that it allows for the circulation so you create an oven basically I see there's enamel cast iron out there that for just this piece would be about $400. Oh, it's easy. a French brand. Oh, a yeah. Of, yeah, oh, a lot yeah. of people know exactly what I'm talking about. It's an enamel cast iron. This is Cuisinart's Resilience Non-Stick. You can see it's a heft. Like when you get this home, I don't want you to think like it's a little light, like dainty pan. No. It is cast iron to its fullest, but it's not going to knock me over, right? It's not right. that huge hefty. And what I like that Cuisinart did is they gave us a lifetime warranty. And so you know that the nonstick is going to not wear off. I mean, when somebody says we're giving you a lifetime warranty, they don't give you like a chintzy little, you know, tool, right? right? Because they don't want it back. They can't afford to do that. 
So you know, as well as I do, that anybody that's saying lifetime warranty is going to, you know, this is going to be a really nice piece. This is going to be that heirloom piece. Now you're going to be able to pass this one down to your kids and grandkids, and they're not going to complain about it. Like we complain about the cast iron that yes, they passed right, down right. to us. Yeah. So, you know, Dutch ovens are great for like gumbo, chili, seafood boil, stew. Um, how about, do you, do you guys eat fried chicken? Fried oh, okra, yeah. fried catfish? Oh, look okay. at that. Yes. <laughs> Some people will only fry in cast iron. You just get a better flavor. The heat retention, it gives uh, you that even frying as right, well. Right. So you can see that's grandma's fried chicken. So if you have grandma's fried chicken recipe, but you don't want to bust out a deep fryer or you don't want to purchase a deep fryer or you don't want to store a deep fryer, all you need is this because you're going to get the best fried chicken or fried whatever oh, when you use Oh, that's great. And iron. I love that kind of family style. Something you said a second ago, which really, uh, uh, really made me think about how I would use this is that you can go from stove top finish it in the oven and then take it right to yes. the table, right? And it oh, will I retain its heat, that kind of uh, family style. Take it to the table and eat right out of it at the table and it will keep it. That's what we love about the cast iron. We love that it will retain that heat and that high heat, uh, but without all the weight and without all the things that are difficult about cast iron. So you're gonna take it from stovetop to the oven, to the table, family style serving, all this for $54.95. You can see that's our clearance price. What's that, about $30 off you're saving today. Five flexible payments of $10.99. Welcome in if you're just tuning in or if you're joining us for the very first time, come on in, my name is Ty Mayberry. We're talking about kitchen clearance here at the end of the year. Great time to shop, so glad you found us. Uh, we are talking about Cuisinart, right? You know the name, big name in the kitchen, one of the biggest names that you can trust. Not only can you trust Cuisinart, but you can trust the lifetime warranty that they are giving you on this cast light. We're talking about cast iron. We're talking about being in the kitchen and adding to your arsenal in the kitchen a piece of cast iron that is not that big, bulky, heavy, hard to season, hard to wash, all of those things. This is dishwasher safe. Yes, that's right. Lifetime warranty, non-stick, and stay cool handles here. It is 4.7 quarts for $54.95. I know Kelly's got something cooking up in her kitchen. So, uh, uh, oh wait, we gotta update the silver wheel real quick, Kelly, update. Oh, final 200 in the silver. This has been very, very popular. Matter of fact, a lot of you calling in or picking up multiples, great idea. One for you, maybe you're, you're giving one out, but great idea, a great way to get cast iron. All right, Kelly, I, it, you know, it's fun to hear me talk about it, sure, but <laughs> way more fun to watch you cook in it. We're eating so much food today, it's not even funny. Can I just say, it is oven safe to 500, um, the lid is oven safe to 350. Okay. It looks beautiful, like the outside and the inside are just stunning. What Cuisinart has done with that resilience nonstick, that interior nonstick, it's a four coating system and without getting like super geeky and super nerdy in terms of like science, it is metal utensil safe, which actually means that you are not going to be able to scratch or scrape off that coating. Cuisinart developed this beautiful nonstick just for um, cast iron and it's proprietary to Cuisinart and exclusive to HSN. And mm. you might be saying, well, I could probably get a Dutch oven for 35 or $40 maybe but i grew up like this you get what you pay for okay absolutely <laughs> My husband just ordered something super cheap and it came and it was super cheap yes. and it was not a culinary item but i was like guess what honey you get what you pay for that's in life. exactly right you on clearance day you pay a teeny tiny bit more than maybe at the supermarket but guess what you're gonna have this for a lifetime it's a lifetime warranty so i truly believe that cuisinart is that lifetime brand this is the pot that i could take straight to my table side and serve out of this, put a little trivet under it. And because it's cast iron, it's gonna retain the heat for maybe an hour or more. And that's why we love cast that's iron. That's amazing, but we absolutely yeah. absolutely hate those hefty pots. Yeah, the you're right. The hefty pots are hefty. That's right, and you can 30% lighter. Yep. Yeah, 30% lighter. That's why we're calling it cast light. So it is cast iron. You are getting real cast iron, but it is 30% lighter. Take a good look at the inside. That is that non-stick. How often do we hear those two words, cast iron and non-stick? You never hear those two. You know what else you don't hear? Dishwasher safe when it comes to cast iron. That's what Cuisinart is, is bringing us. And I love that Cuisinart is bringing us something that if we're in the 
kitchen, and whether you're an amateur in the kitchen or you've been in the kitchen a long time, you can add some cast iron without committing to that big, bulky thing that you have to take care of that is difficult and that is heavy. Now you can add that in. You can have those same flavors, or you can fry, as we just saw that fried chicken in there. You can do that as well. And remember, these grips, these are these stay cool grips. You're also getting the lid right, which makes it more like, like that oven, that kind of Dutch oven feel, and you do get to pick your color. This red right here, oh, look at that. That's a beautiful red, that enamel finish on the outside, really beautiful. That's my most popular, but my most limited is this silver over here. About 150 left, and I know a lot of you are on the phone. Head over to hsn.com, a couple of clicks, and you can make sure you get the color that you want, because at this price, at $30 off, $54.95, take advantage of those five flexible payments, $10 dollars and 99 cents plus the shipping we send this out to you after that first flexible payment at the turn of the year the new year you're going to be using your cast iron now i say it's 30 percent lighter but kelly and i have been talking about how it, it's not light it's not cheap there is some real good heft to it but not too much to where if you fill it up you're not going to be able to carry it because you are going to carry it you're going to take it from your stovetop into the oven and you're gonna take it right to the table and it will retain the heat, which is what we love about cast iron. Put a cast iron piece in your kitchen. Look at your kitchen collection. Do you have a nice cast iron piece? Have you been thinking about that? This is a great piece to get started with. All you have to do is pick your color. Uh, Kelly, I see, I see you got something good going on there. I'm taking a little peek at my preview screen there and I see oh, some, oh, look yes. at that, all right. What do we All have right, there? So we did a little pasta bake, right? So you can cook your pasta in here on the stove top and then top it with breadcrumbs and cheese and then pop it in your oven and bake it. Remember, oven safe to 500, lifetime warranty. It is our Cuisinart cast light, which means it's lighter than traditional cast iron, mm -hmm. but it still has all those great features like the heat retention, like the sear. If you wanted to sear, um, you know, a piece of meat on the inside and yes. then roast the remainder you could sear it. Um, you're gonna feed a crowd with this if it's game day chili or baked ziti or whatever it is. I love the size of it. It's not oversized, like it's not huge. You're not gonna not find a place for it, but it's almost that five quarts. It's that 4.7 quart. It has the stay cool handles on the side, right? So you're gonna be able to take this easily because it's 30% lighter. This is full of chili, full of chili. Yeah. So you can imagine the heft if this were a traditional cast iron, but it's lighter than cast iron but it still has all those great features that we love. In terms of the searing factor, it's non-stick. It's a Cuisinart exclusive non-stick. We created it just for cast iron and just for HSN. So if you're getting this on sale, you're gonna absolutely love it. Maybe print a picture and wrap it for under the tree for <laughs> yeah, the that's right. in it's your like, life. You're, yes. That's right, you're getting cast iron. And even though it's non-stick, you can still get that sear though, right? That's a lot of things with non-stick. Sometimes you can't get it. You can still get that great sear because it is cast iron. Kelly, thank you so much for joining us this morning Thanks, for our guys. kitchen plan. It's always good to see you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Kelly. All right, head over. That is a customer pick, 670-045. Head over to hsn.com. Thank you for joining me for our kitchen clearance. I hope you found something to add to your kitchen uh, collection while you were here. Happy holidays to everyone. Hope everyone out there is being safe and having a great time uh, this morning with their family. So maybe you can head over to hsn.com. Take a look at everything we have there. All right, we're going to go on a little break, but we'll be right back. Be well. From all of us here at HSN to you, thank you so much for finding your Married with HSN this holiday season. Well, thank you so much for inviting us into your homes this holiday season. It's always an honor and a pleasure. So happy holidays to you. Thank you so much for celebrating with us. Have a wonderful holiday season. And we want to thank everybody out there for helping us celebrate this holiday season. Have a happy holiday. I'd like to personally thank all of you for not only spending time with me on HSN, but shopping and trusting me to find the perfect gift for the loved ones on your holiday list. Mwah. More than ever before, I appreciate you. We all do. We love you. Thank you for celebrating the season with us here at HSN.
appraised values you see at HSN are set by independent, professionally certified appraisers. They determine, as closely as possible, the approximate retail cost of replacing or recreating the item, not the possible sell or purchase price. Because subjective estimates and judgments are involved, appraisals may vary by as much as 25%. Call your customer service rep for more information. Well, decorating number one, but as Buddy the Elf would say, the best way to spread the Christmas cheer is singing loud for all to hear. All I want for Christmas is you and you and you and you. Here at HSN, we base our retail values on nationwide information. Retail value is an indication of the price you would expect to pay for the same or similar item elsewhere, not the price at which you would be able to sell the item. Prices do vary around the country, so ours might be different from prices in your area. For more information, call one of our customer service reps at 1-800-284-3900.